Yo, it's Death for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? But, but our fans are not going to be the same, so I feel like everybody who against me because of a past situation, I don't give a f about them because they ain't never been my fan from the get go. Mm -hmm. I know you said you don't you don't really regret anything, so you don't regret going to the hookah lounge that night. Man, bit bro, I don't even want to talk about that shit, bit bro. Man, listen, boy, bit bro, boy, hey. When God call your ass home, you got to go, brother. Long story short, I don't, I don't even want to talk about that shit. Yo, what's the word, gang? So, yeah, it's happening. You know what I'm saying? Another situation that happened in No Jumper. I don't know, man. It seems like No Jumper stay in the news with this type of situations. You know what I'm saying? Drummer. Like, every week is some more drummer. I guess that's what moves the platform. You feel me? Because they definitely getting the views. They definitely getting the recognition. You know, um, they got the situation going on where the dude, um, you know, apparently supposed to got shot allegedly. He faking it. He in the wheelchair, but he not. He tried to extort Adam out of 10K. And then you got this Quando Rondo situation. Quando Rondo just did an interview with Adam 22 and Brick Baby and Remo. Now, the whole interview was done on Zoom. So... It was parts in the interview. When I was watching the interview, I'm like, yo, they should have just cut that out. But then, like, during the interview, I heard Adam say, look, it's kind of hard to cut out little things because, you know, it's like we getting a, a tap into Quando Rondo's life. But that wasn't it, though, family. Just like the clip you just heard before this video started, right, with the King Von question. That was many of, one of many, you know what I'm saying, questions that was kind of out of line. They even asked him, like, you know, about his Fed case, which is an ongoing ongoing investigation, an ongoing case. You feel me? Um, tying them into other stuff. The man, like, you know what? I don't want to talk about that, big bro. I don't want to talk about that. But, you know, some of the stuff that's left on the table leaves room for other rumors to start and things of that nature. So he kind of, you know, spoke on some different things, just like he even answered the King Von question. But the thing is, he getting backlash from all that shit. He getting backlash from, you know, they asked him about the drug use. You know what I mean? And he's saying that he don't use drugs no more because he feel like the value, the value of his freedom is more than any, worth more than any drug. You know what I'm saying? And um, they definitely put a lot of stuff out where I feel like they should have edited it. You know what I'm saying? The interview still would have been dope. It still would have did the same amount of views. You know what I mean? Like, that's the thing, though, bro. Sometimes integrity over clout can be a strange line that some people tend to follow or they don't follow. You feel me? And, you know, Adam, over the, you know what I'm saying, couple of years, maybe some people will say even longer, you know, when it comes to the clout and pushing his platform forward and far as monetary value, is definitely something there where he continues to do certain things, you know, just like the April Fool's joke. Quando Rondo, if you mentioned that, he like, yo, big bro, I'm glad that you came out. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure Brick Baby and some others probably wouldn't stand by you if you wouldn't have been kept in, keeping it real with yourself. And Adam like, hey, you think I'm gay? I'm not gay. You know what I mean? And then um, Quando Rondo like, what you, like, what was that? Them pictures you had? He like, oh, that was April Fool's joke. Going to Rondo instantly, like you was a cloud chaser, you feel me? So sometimes it's a blurry line, but you don't want it. Like this is a major artist, you know what I'm saying? Regardless if people like Quando Rondo or not, you know what I'm saying? This is a major artist. This is probably one of the biggest artists that hit that platform in a few months. You know what I'm saying? Let alone probably this year alone. You know what I'm saying? Get in the comments and let me know if it's somebody bigger. But a lot of times they interview underground artists, um, gang members. You know what I'm saying? Uh, influencers, things of that nature. But this is actually a working artist assigned to NBA Youngboy. Actually got some type of motion. You know what I'm saying? Album about to drop soon. It's one of his first promos. You know, far as the album dropping in a couple of months or a month, however they said it. Because I know he called the um, manager on the um, live as well on that Zoom call. And they were like, you know, we told you a month, but it's probably going to be two months. You feel me? But um, Quando Rondo, he comes with this post, bro. He posts this on his Instagram. He like, man, F Adam 22 in no jumper. On F with you. You know what I'm saying? That was at 9.52 p.m. 
That was like shit just a couple of hours ago. As you can see, 659 views when we caught it. Right now, that shit got 28,000 likes. Who knows how many comments. And people probably going on the same things that he probably, the reason he put up that post. Like, yeah, Kondo, you right. You know, they tried to play you. It was a setup. I even seen some posts on, on uh, YouTube. Some channels is saying that Brick Baby tried to set them up. I don't know about all that, but um, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. So this is definitely a burn bridge type of relationship. I want this um Quando Rondo gonna take this out on Brick Baby because you do know he did diss him. They were trying to squash their beef and then you do an interview and you don't edit like at the end of the day, I don't think that got nothing to do with Brick Baby. You know what I'm saying? That's something that's done far as Adam, a little above his pay grade, far as on um, Brick Baby. You know, but at the end of the day, him being present in that interview, it almost looked like he's facilitating these type of activities. But um yeah.